What is up guys, my name is Ninja Gamer, and today we're going to be playing a Zerg vs Zerg. Uh, I'm playing with my brother Tosh, we are playing Archon mode, and this game is significant because we are achieving Platinum status in this game. So we've pretty much gone from Bronze, uh, I guess earlier in the year, and now we're finally getting to Platinum. This is the game that's going to do it for us, let's see how we go ahead and accomplish that. We are playing on a pretty small map, uh, and we're both going to be Zerg. I don't know who's building, uh, but let's go ahead and see what's being produced. Uh, Blue does go for the early hatchery expansion. We're going to go ahead and play against Inazuma and Gibusu, which do sound like pretty Japanese sounding names. Uh, and um, yeah, he went for the he went for a pretty early expansion. Uh, he's at the 15 mark, so he didn't, he didn't, I think we chose to get the Overlord and then continue to get more drones. Uh, because let's look at our units. We have 18 units. Yeah, see, so we have a lot more drones in him. We have about four or five more drones than him. Uh, looks like we're just talking about some random stuff here. We're gonna go ahead and create the spawning pool. I do like to create the spawning pool right over here so we could block the entrance to the drones and try to make a compact uh, building structure format. Um, but not too much else otherwise happening. He's gonna go ahead and create the spawning pool uh, behind the mineral line or blocking the path to the back of the mineral line which I don't really like to do uh, especially when you're going against like Terran and it'll drop you, they can literally just drop you right behind the spawning pool and just totally wipe out your spawning pool. So, eh, personal preference there. I'm not sure which one's really the better approach. He's gonna go ahead and scout us, and I'm just curious what the APM here is. His APM is, again, significantly higher than ours. We're just old, old people who have very slow low number of actions per minute but i suppose even with our slower actions per minute it's what the actions that you do is what counts if that makes any sense i don't think that made any sense all right so not much going on here he is doing a good job of scouting and it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and be Toshi's going to go ahead and be building uh, because I am commenting on what's going on here. Um, I need to remember units, 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 production tab. Alright, what's being produced? We're both getting metabolic boost and I um, apologize, I accidentally paused that for like two seconds. So both of us are getting metal all the boost. This game isn't gonna last, last long at all. 10 minutes on both sides. Uh, 10 minutes, shit's just gonna go down, yo. He's gonna go ahead and create the baneling nest, which is quite good and smart. Baneling nest is always a good, good call. Uh, what are we doing? We're just... We're just... I don't know what we're doing, guys. He's pretty much got the same number of drones as us now. Um... Oh, we, I know what we're doing. We're getting, we're getting a layer. Uh, and he's not getting a layer. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get some mutas ASAP. And... Uh, Thankfully he doesn't have the Baneling speed and we do know that he's going to go ahead and go leap speedlings as well. Oh, so we're not going mutas, we're going, we're going roaches, alright. We don't really know what he's going, we're ask, he's asking can you see if it's a spire or roach. So I'm assuming I'm going to go ahead and create a Overseer here and sneak peek our hero Zergling going in. Oh, he didn't make it. I guess I just saw a bunch of Zerglings and Banelings, but he didn't really make it that far in there, guys. For shame. 
for shame. Spire going down on our side. Uh, and I should just really go scout with my overseer, or create an overseer and scout, but it looks like big attack coming in with 22 zerglings against our... We only have 6 zerglings? What the frick? I thought we had more than that. I think I might have missed a battle. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, big battle coming in here. Let's see if we can stop this. He should just swarm this, but he's being too tentative, really. Let's see what he goes goes ahead and plans to do. Alright, this is the brave scout. Sees what's going on. That is a spire being made. Alright, I guess there is no attack coming yet. If I were him, I would have just gone. I would have just attacked. But he's not me, and I'm not the best player. So might be better not to listen to what I would do. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I have Spire. Whoa. He's Muta for sure. Is he Muta? Uh, no, he's Roaches. We have 10 Mutalisks, however. Yep, yeah, he waited a little bit too long on that. Good thing the Roaches were here to stop it. Uh, so he's only killed one worker out of that whole engagement and we are going to go ahead and counter him. He does have a couple Spore Crawlers. So he does need to know that Mutas are coming and he has two Queens so that will be pretty hard to break. Uh, but nonetheless it will be good to destroy his Overlords. Oh and this is going to be fun. What happens when you attack a Baneling? Well, I'll show you guys. Boom! Blow up in your face and hurt your ally units. Yeah, that's what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these roaches. We're gonna kill more supply, which is always fun. He does create a grip of Hydralisks, which we're going to go ahead and just try to destroy, but he has three queens, so that's going to be pretty hard to break. But in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and... No, don't engage that. Don't engage that. Don't engage that. We're just going to go ahead and out-macro him. So he is only on two base. Uh, our APM, surprising, oh, it's at 107, which is not bad. Um, and he is, not much going on here. He is making a hive, actually, that is something that's going on. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going go to go try to do with the hive. We have a ton of mutalisks here. But I think our strategy now is just to try to uh, contain him or out macro him because we we have a... Uh, I think we're doing better economically. Is that fair to say? Uh, 47. Honestly, I don't know why, but I feel like we're uh, ahead. And that could be a completely incorrect assessment, but yeah, the reason why I feel ahead is because he did spend a ton of his um, resources on creating those dr uh, zerglings, and we pretty much killed all of them, and he only killed one drone. So we are slightly ahead, I think. If you look at the units lost, yeah, so he's lost 3,400 units, and we've only lost... 1200 in resources. So we are slightly ahead, like by 2000 resources. And a big attack coming 
on the front base. Primarily roaches though. Only a handful of hydras. And the hydras do not have the speed upgraded as it appears. Uh, so this will be interesting. I don't know if this... Oh, I don't know if this is going to hold. Big battle here. We're going to go ahead and target the Hydra list. Hydras are going to go down right away. And the roaches, well, they can't really do much. If I were him, I would have just... Uh, I would have just focused that hot... Um, Hatchery, but it looks like it's gonna go ahead and be GG. He is gonna go ahead and focus that hatchery after his teammate leaves and prompting the other person to leave as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. We are finally platinum. I wish we had saved the uh the little emblem because uh, that would have been fun to watch. Uh, we are finally platinum now guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the road to platinum. I suppose the next road is now the road to diamond, which we are currently on, but let me know if you guys have any other suggestions on things you'd like to see, tips for art combo, tips, tips for how to get from bronze to platinum, strategies, certain things you want us to try. I know one of us, one of the commenters suggested we try uh, double racks with Reaper, and that was quite fun to do, to do and we did create we do have that video that I now have to upload, so suggestions are always welcome. Please like, uh, subscribe, share, or comment, and I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and bye.